Okay, this is going to be a t tutorial on radial symmetry in Blender 2.8. Lots of times people will tell you that radial symmetry is really difficult or it's something that's impossible to do and will give you one of a couple of methods that are not so good for doing it. Um, but we can get uh, true procedural radial symmetry in Blender with a couple of small drawbacks but it's nothing to worry about. So first I'm going to go over the the two methods um, and this is going to be like a little bit of a beginner's top up of how most people will tell you to do radial symmetry. Um, I will leave the um, a, a time code in the description if you want to skip ahead to the way that you can do proper true procedural radial radial symmetry um, but I'm just going to go over the first two methods first so that everybody's coming to it on the same page um, the first method is just to tap into edit mode on an object and move it away from its origin and then simply use the spin tool to rotate it around and we can see it's symmetrical but the problem with that is once we have tabbed out and tabbed back in or made really anything but the basic panel um, options then we it's done we can't edit it anymore and that's a very obvious drawback so the second method that we're going to talk about is with an array modifier so I'm going to add in a cube here and I'm going to create an array, bump it up to um, some number, and I'm going to add in a nubs curve. Uh, a nubs circle. And I'm going to scale that up a little bit as well. And then I'm going to click back on my array and add in a curve modifier and then I am going to select the NURBS circle as its input there and we can see immediately that, that gives us something akin to radial symmetry but there are all sorts of problems um, it can sometimes be uneven between them and if I add some more loop cuts in here we can see that it gives us curved edges and sometimes this effect is what you want but mostly it's not um, the way we we edit this isn't really that good because it's to do with origin locations um, in the object view which means that if your nubs curve circle ever moves then it does it distorts it distorts your symmetry and it's not really true symmetry to start with it's it's just taking an array and it's forcing it around the curb a curve rather it's not real symmetry but it is a useful technique um, the proper method for doing um, good radial symmetry in Blender is to add in an empty um, just to see where you are and so that we have um, a location as to where our 3D cursor was when we added this in in case we ever need it or in case we need to set an object origin to it um, but since we're in a blank page we don't need to worry about that right now we just need to carry on from here really because everything's centered to the to absolute world center so I've added in a cube and I'm going to tab into edit mode and I'm going to move it some way off from its origin and the cursor. I am going to 
um, set my my pivot point to the individual origin of the object and we can see that it doesn't look like much has happened um, so the next thing we need to do is we need to open up a Python console and I'm going to use a prime number here um, so that everybody can see that this can be done even in complicated circumstances and I'm just going to do 360 and I am going to um, divide that by by seven. A nice simple prime number for us. And then that's going to spit out a number for us here. And that's the number of degrees we have to do to make um, seven duplicates advance and it's a useful number just to have here um, so we can keep things precise so I'm gonna tab out of edit mode back into object mode and I'm gonna hit alt D on my keyboard and click and I have done that seven times to create seven different or I mistakenly made an extra perhaps here and uh, so I've actually made eight but that doesn't really matter um, duplicates linked duplicates of our object and now we are going to just rotate them by 51.42 and then hit enter and then immediately without doing anything I'm going to now repeat that operation on the other cubes that we have here so the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to hit shift R a couple of times and I'm going to going to keep advancing these cubes around in these increments until I have what I want and I'm going to, sh going to delete the extra there okay now these are now rigged so that we have true symmetry um, so we can tab in if we rotate them. If we, yeah, if we rotate a face, they all rotate. If we make extrusions, they extrude. It does everything we want, really, really neatly. So now I've just made a little thing. Um, the drawback of this is we can do merging, but we cannot, we can't do clipping. So if we wanted these to join up, we would have to um, make sure that we had we were operating with even numbers of faces um, or even numbers of edges in our loops like this and we would have to just then cut a wound in our object so that when we're done we can go ahead and um, merge that merge those together so we could just if I come into wireframe mode here we could line these up so that they are
just about as close as they need to, they would need to be to merge together on a standard merge command. I'm sure that if you're watching this video you get the point there. So we also need to do one more step before we're finished which is select all of these and I'm gonna search for make single user selected objects and now that's gonna bring us up this little pop-up box here and we need to hit here object and object data and then that will make these all individual and then from here you can merge these together these are no longer um, these are no longer symmetrical objects but there's two ways that you could approach closing this up the one I'm not going to show you is you could boolean these together um, but I'm going to show you the quick um, control J to join all of these together If we tab into here, we could just select all our things and we could do a merge, a merge by distance until it starts to pick up what we need. And then if we look inside, we will be able to see that we have there a sealed up object that has true radial symmetry was um, completely re-editable as we were making it and it's really really a useful technique um, thank you for watching